Hello, my name is Ethan Ashley, and welcome to my summer practice journal week number three. For this week, I want to try and get my double toning to around 92 BPM and not just stand one stationary note, but instead maybe work on some scales and whatnot while double toning. Since last week we finished liqueur number 17, this week I want to move on to liqueur number 18. It's in 3.8 and the top end goes around 80 to 84 BPM, so I'd like to get it around 70 to 72. This last week I worked on the first Overture to Candide excerpt out of the most recent Coast Guard Band audition packet, so this week I want to work on the second excerpt from the same piece. It's the very end of the piece and it's a little bit harder than the first one, but it's also a little bit shorter. In terms of repertoire for this week, I'd like to move on to the fourth movement of Tableau, and if I have any extra time, I'll spend it working on the fifth movement at a very slow tempo. I'll also be spending some time this week breaking in the reads I started on last week, and hopefully they start to sound a little bit better. I hope you enjoy. To start off the week, I continued to break in some of the reads that I started last week. Um, right now, I have a few Van Dorn Blue Box three and a halfs, a few Daddario three and a halfs, and a few Daddario 3 pluses. The 3 pluses are a little soft and I feel like if my embouchure is a little bit too tight no air can even get through but they've began to harden up just a little bit and we'll see where they go. The Van Dorn reeds sound really good and I think they sound better than the Daddario reeds but they're a little bit too hard. The Daddario reeds as the days go by they get a little bit softer which I'm really liking and they've started to sound better. This is a long tone exercise straight from the chops book. It helps me work on air direction through the octave, and then we change to the third note. I work on starting my vibrato instantly. The exercise works through the range of the horn and goes up into the altissimo, and usually I don't go on to the altissimo because I'm like, oh, I'm not good enough to do that yet. Um, but I felt like today was a good day, and it just helps work on my voicing. This is the chromatic minor second scale that is required for our scale exams at UT. It's good to revisit this every once in a while just because it works on my finger dexterity and it's just a very common pattern within a lot of music that we work on. I think I topped out here around 100 for the day. to the liqueur etude for the week. This was number 18. Like I say every week, I try and take these at a really slow pace and just work on the first page the first day and really work at around 60. Um, for this etude, I started around 50 since it was in 3.8 and I'm just trying to get the right fingers down and get good reps. This one really wasn't too tricky, so it was just making sure I got the patterns down. There was a little bit of altissimo on this first page, but uh, it just went up to like a G, I think, and I just used some front fingerings to go up to it. This lick is at the very end of the Overture to Candide, and I remember rehearsing this for a commencement band, and we were doing it at full tempo, and I just could not play it because it was really hard. Um, so I'm glad I'm looking at it now. Luckily, he ended up cutting it, so we didn't actually have to play it for the real thing. I know there's a lot you can do with this in terms of pushing and pulling tempo, but for right now I'm keeping it pretty straight. I did a lot of metronome work with this at around 60 BPM. I really like Nathan Bogart's recording. If I remember, I'll try and link it down in the description. He has a lot of really good recordings out there and I really like his sound. I especially like his De Crook recording. He does a lot of the uh, viola altissimo and it's pulled off really well. To start 
start off today, I wanted to do some overtones. I find that this really helps lock in my voicing for the day, and I really like how I sound after I've done this exercise. I started with some scales, and it's something that Calvin really drived into us this last semester, and I think it's really beneficial. As you can hear, I make a mistake here, but that's the point of this. I want to try and be as transparent as possible with these videos, and I uh, try not to do a whole lot of cutting. Uh, I try and include all the bad stuff as well as some of the good stuff. It's all about transparency. This is the most consistent I've been with the double tonguing in terms of working on it pretty much every day, and I can really see the progress so far. I still feel like there's a little bit of a lag with the back syllable, but I think that's going to come in when I start to work on just isolating the back syllable every once in a while. I've really been trying to do um, triplets at whatever tempo I'm at. at. This week my goal is 92, I think, so I've just been trying to do uh, just the key, key, key syllable by itself. I've really got to work on keeping my left shoulder down as I get into the low spatula keys in my left hand. During the second day of working on this etude, I just try and work through the second page, just like I did the first, slow and steady. I'm always relieved when I get to the bottom half of the second page because it's usually just a recap of the beginning. As I sped up the tempo, the one problem that consistently came up with this was just making sure that my tongue was aligned with my fingers, especially when we popped down the octave on those low E's and F's just to get the staccato articulation. So I tried to work on that today. I then went on to work through the second page of Tabolo Movement 4. I didn't have a whole lot of time to spend on this, but I'm happy with what I got done. One thing that's helped motivate me to get to practicing every day is the fact that I have this one setup, and it's in the corner of my room, and it's set up just like this every single day, and it just provides consistency. I don't have to move my stand around and go to different rooms. In past summers, I've had a little bit of a hard time wanting to practice just because my setup changes a lot, and keeping it in this one spot has helped me just sit down with my saxophone and get to work. If you've watched previous weeks, this is a finger exercise from the 28-day warm-up book. It goes through all the different keys on the single motif. This was the chromatic major second scale, and I didn't necessarily have this one fully memorized yet, so I was really trying to work through section by section, getting it memorized. If you're ever making a ton of mistakes in a lick, try and simplify it as much as possible, whether that's taking the tempo down to a feasible uh, number that you can play it at, or that may be taking away notes, so in this case I shortened up the look and then started to add more and more onto it as I got better at it. The third day of working on these liquor etudes usually consists of me reviewing what I worked on, and usually my fingers have forgotten some of the first page, so I spend a little bit more time on that, and then I get into speeding up the tempo just in smaller chunks.
Today I didn't have a whole lot of time to practice, so I got straight into some of the objectives for the week. Starting with double tonguing, I was just working out the tempo, um, getting it two clicks faster every rep. The hardest lick in this liqueur is definitely at the end of the second page. It does a lot of spatula key in the left hand with uh, low Bs, Cs, and D flats. So today I was just working that out and making sure that I can get it uh, sped up faster over the next few days. I think I ended the day here around 60 BPM, and over the next few days I'm going to work on getting it to 70. I don't have a piano nearby, so it's nice to check the bottom pitch of the Remingtons with a drone, and then don't mind this. I think out of all of the scales, the harmonic minor scales are definitely my favorite, so I decided to work on those today. Just a quick side note, I think either it was today or it was yesterday, I decided to work on some of my long tone exercises while breaking in some of the reeds that I've been breaking in throughout the week, so if I sound a little bit extra fluffy, that's why. Today I didn't have a whole lot of time to practice, we decided to do Father's Day today, since I'm going to be gone next Sunday, but I did a lot of tempo work with this and got it up to 70 BPM, which I'm really happy with since that was the goal for the week. And then check out my pinky here. Don't mind me just wearing the same shirt, but in a different color every single day. What can I say? It's comfy. Since the drone was already on, I set it to B flat and decided to work on pitch throughout my long tone work. Since I worked on harmonic minors yesterday, I decided to go through the melodic minors. I decided to do this at a really slow tempo at I think 60, since I've been hearing some swinging in my scales.
Like I said earlier, the double tongue has really been coming along, and this week I did end up meeting my goal of 92 BPM. Not the cleanest run of this, but I'm happy with the progress throughout the week. This was such a good run and I'm really proud of all the work and it really pays off to work it out slowly at the beginning of the week. And I'm pretty sure at the end of this uh, I got up and raised my hands and was really happy. Such a good run. If I had one sort of downfall this week it would have definitely been Tableau Movement 4. It wasn't the most exciting thing I've ever played and I don't think I was super motivated to work on it. I learned all the notes and played it pretty well but definitely not my best work. I look forward to next week and the week after where I start to work on some stuff that I'm really excited to play.
another week done and dusted and week three is officially over we pretty much met all of our goals for the week the double tonguing went well and i'm really excited to see where that's going to go over the next few weeks the liqueur etude number 18 we finished that and i feel like i had a really good performance of it i'm really proud of the progress for the overture to candide excerpt that i did that went well it was a uh, pretty easy and pretty short um just got a little bit of the kinks out for next week i want to pick something a little bit harder or longer um, something that's going to challenge me just a little bit more than this week and then in terms of repertoire the movement for tableau um it wasn't the greatest last performance of it but I'm proud of the work that I did on that, and I'm glad I'm more familiar with it now. Next week, we'll move on to Movement 5, and we'll see how that goes. Thank you all for tuning in to another week of My Summer Practice Journal. If you made it here to the end, comment down below and let me know. Making these videos each week is a lot of fun, and I'm thankful for all the support. We go again next week. Peace.